Hi, I'm Jill. And I'm Gianna. And, and welcome, welcome to the, the We Watch, Watch It All podcast, podcast, where we watch it all and give you our opinions. AKA the opinions no one ever asked for. There was a big smack for you right there on the intro. Get it out of my system. All right. What? Real Housewives in New Jersey, episode 12. You go ahead and say the title, because I got no clue. I'm Melissa. Uh, <laughs> slanty? Slanty? Slante. Slante? Slante. Slante. Yeah, I We're should... Irish. <laughs> I know, but I don't know that. <laughs> Hi, baby. Welcome to the podcast, my poo-poo kitty. Hello. At least he seems more interested in this than though Hello. we talk about it all. Hello. Speaking of that, go watch that episode. Yeah. We just did it. It was a pretty He's good one. sitting upside down. His good. little teeth are out. Yeah. He's all right. looking at you like you shouldn't have spoke at all. Look uh, at him. All right. Well, let, let's let's get into this episode. Well, apparently, this was a continuation and we didn't know it. They yeah, left. I really thought they were going to pick up the next morning the way I Dolores ushered them out of the My thing, God, no. It it's... picked right up from her kicking them out of the restaurant. Can I just tell you, I I understand when they flash back a little bit to the last week episode and they you get to rewatch. But sometimes it's a bit much when you have to watch a scene that was already like, yeah, I don't want to watch it. Can I just say my soap opera did that to me the other day? <gasps> what? I'm gasping. Oh, how dare they? I was no. <laughs> it was the worst thing ever. They brought back a character from years ago that I've been waiting for it to come back, and I sat through it on mon- on Friday. The montage of their life together, all the years on the soap opera for the past 20, 30 years. It was beautiful. Do you know that when they came back the next day? They, they started it from before the montage, and I said, oh, no. Oh, my God, no. The montage. They're going to play the montage again. <laughs> they wasted 10 minutes playing this <gasps> montage. It was that long. Wow. It was a long... I mean, the first time around, it was great. It was great to see all the old yeah. videos. They should have, the first time around, oh, they should have only shown, like, a little, like, clip <sighs> it flash of it. And oh, then, look at oh you, my God, sassy Cooper. lad. He just threw himself down like he is. We're like just... the damn Lisa Vanderpumps of cats over here. Look at him looking at you like, what did you just pick off of me? Lint, baby Look at him, boy. look at him, look at him. I know. Now it's on my laptop. <laughs> anyway, so it starts, well, it starts with a little bit of the back. I'm sorry, the back of Rachel and Danielle still arguing. Yeah. And if you know anything, you know I'm already, I'm, I'm over this argument. Yeah, I, I like, feel, I, wipe it clean, that, I feel, let's I shut feel it like down. I can see you progressively disliking Danielle now. I, I, I'm there. I'm there already. Oh. I like Rachel but I'm yeah. I'm not there with you. And Danielle. you guys know we came out of the gate like such huge fans of of them. And, did I did and like Fez. her? I liked her, it's, but but she's she, having that issue. But we'll get into that. Yeah, she just it, it does it for me. Uh, so then we have Melissa who is stealing a glass apparently because she. Excuse I'm sorry. Me? What? Trade in your old device. Okay, thank you for that suggestion. I'm not sure. As they call that. your computer old. It's like a backhanded compliment. Yeah. Well, there you go. You can just mind your business there, Mister. Yeah, Melissa, so she's coming across drunk, you know, and This is, I think, I mean, maybe she's faking it, but this is probably the drunkest I think I've ever seen Melissa. I don't know. A couple of things that I was watching said that she, they thought she was hamming it up a little bit. Maybe. Um, a couple of things were saying that she was doing this because she wants to get this rumor out that she knows about this rumor and she wants oh. to, like, find a reason to get Because she made that comment about calling my ex. Okay, so here's the thing with that. So Teresa was like, my ex, like... She felt yeah. like she might have had something on her, but why did she even say that? But she, no, what well, ex would the, she have? She's been no, with Joe Gorga for forever. It's more of like an internet joke oh. that goes around where it's like, oh my god, I'm feeling like I'm so intoxicated that I might like mess around and call my ex. So like that's if, how drunk you are. So now, if that is the case, then that means she was coherent enough to know to make that gesture, which she's very TikTokish. She's very on that yeah. stuff. So that means like yeah, but I don't think you'd have to be like I think she that just might be something in the top of her head. Maybe I don't know. Not not like in a in a bad way, but I'm saying like in the joke way because that's because I think Melissa, uh, Teresa definitely thought she was gonna try to yeah. like and I'm catch thinking, her in something. Who the hell is your ex? Because who have you been with that yeah. you would even no, but like? They would even have I, the same telephone see, that's, number. That's my thing. From my opinion or my perspective, I feel like I see a lot of people online. I literally saw somebody today online making that joke of like. Oh, I'm, I'm like so like intoxicated no. that I'm gonna like. Don't be a fool. Call, the, yeah. So to <laughs> me though, I took it as like maybe she's trying to make. See, I like, didn't know internet. that was a thing. That's, so that's, that's the, the thing. Only but thing. do I think Teresa knows that as well? No, no. I don't think she. So does that's either. why I think Teresa just thought she was gonna catch her in something. Oh, without a doubt, and because she's like, oh, uh huh, mm-hmm. But I just, I don't know. Some, I think that is Melissa when she gets drunk because she gets very like. 
loosey goosey. Yeah, loosey goosey and says things she shouldn't, but she did end up staying. We were concerned with who she was actually staying with. She did stay with Marge. Yeah. And you hear a little Marge bit of the just corralled her into there. Snore, snore. So, well, she could have ended up getting her in there because if she was drinking, then it, then it goes like right to the morning. So, like, why did we need to see that whole thing again? Like, I just, I don't know. I think it was for the van for Melissa. I guess, I guess. But I think you could have just ended that episode there last week because it would have been like a that cliffhanger. Been a good cliffhanger. Like, yeah, you'd been like, wait, what? What's yeah, going to happen? I think but that no, be better. I, better than the one they left it on for sure. But then you see Dolores, Jen Fessler, uh, Rachel, and Mar Marge. I put Marge. Margaret, come down. I always um, put March. I do too. I shorten her March. I'm not typing Margaret. No offense. They come down to eat breakfast first, and Jen Fessler like asks about uh, the booger wolf. Yeah. Like you know, where's the booger wolf? And I didn't know that it really was about like being hairy and stuff. <laughs> like I, I just didn't realize it. I don't know. And March is like, I'm the least hairiest person ever, and I'm thinking she does look very hairless. <laughs> like she doesn't look like I don't know. I'm just saying. Then you get Danielle. She comes down. I enter in peace or whatever. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I just, I, there's not much she says that I can tolerate at this point. Yeah. And this is like scene one, like first, like d- I mean, break I of think light. If she I can't. can just pull this together I don't think and get out of this fight, then I think, I think she'd she'd she to. could, she'd be a good housewife. But she's got based on this episode, it's not getting any better. It yeah. actually got worse, in my opinion, but I, I don't know. But then the cutest thing is Paulie's mother. I mean, if this Dolores does not, if Dolores does not marry Paulie, like I'm going to be so disappointed. Because, I can picture it in an Irish castle. Look at me. Yeah, I, I think they would just be so cute. I can see her going over there and doing something like that, which I think would be nice. Yeah, because I think she would. I like she's saying she just wants to go somewhere. I think that would be like her version of like not having to have this big grandiose thing. Yeah. He's definitely going to fall this cat of mine. But the mom comes, sister, niece. They come to the castle to meet the girls, which I feel like I don't know how far they came, but good Lord, you felt like they were there for 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. I mean, it might not have been. No, I don't think it probably was. I'm sure it probably wasn't, but it felt like that for sure. And the mom was real cute. Looked just like Paulie, like they were all saying. He looked like him, but she really did. And apparently throwing that word the hussy around that might be my new word instead of the other one because you know at least you go around calling people a hussy yeah you're a hussy it sounds worse less worse than the other w word <laughs> <laughs> but she she was very cute and she seems like she liked dolores a lot yeah and all the girls received her really nicely and they all want to know what they thought of her Polly and you know they all said that they think they're a perfect match but you know we're planning the wedding and then the best thing ever is she... Well, first of all, let me preface this that this is where I can't stand her again. Danielle starts crying. Yeah. I'm like, come At on. first I thought... I, at first of all, what was... The, what she was at actually, first I thought she was just tearing up because like, oh, she was like, cute. oh, she's so, so cute. Ha- yeah, or happy she, for Dolores or whatever. Because I noticed her crying before they mentioned it. Like, I could yeah. see her eyes like, just like, oh, like... But that's not what she was eyeing. No. It was her own self again about her and her freaking brother and how she likes to see, oh, how much his sister loves him. And, and I'm like, not for nothing, but unless we missed a lot, the sister really didn't say too much. I'm sure she does love her brother, but I'm just saying, like, we didn't see some kind of grandiose declaration of, I don't yeah. know, but whatever. You also get a weird dynamic between Melissa and Teresa. Yeah, the whole episode. was The whole episode kept you thinking, like, oh, wait. Are these two going to actually be okay? But Make the up? problem is, this is like a Vanderp- Vanderpump Rules. We already know the outcome, so it's a hard one. Like, we already yeah. know that they did not go to the wedding. They did not show up. They did not partake. They don't really talk. So it's, I think it's another hard one where it's like, you're watching something that you're like, well, wait a minute, they look like this could go a different way. Promising. But you know it's not going to because you know they don't because you already know, which is sad. But, but she does... Like Teresa make a couple really of nice, nice comments. comments. Yeah, this one but, was about the that the parents really liked her. Yeah, and here's the thing, Melissa. And she is, thought is, they were very. She thought Melissa was good with her parents, which I thought was nice because yeah. I do think she was. But here's my thing. It's like the issue is like yes, Teresa's making these nice comments, but like Melissa knows who Teresa is, which she ends up being herself mm-hmm. towards the end of the episode. Yeah. So of course Melissa's gonna be kind of like suspicious. Like you can't like because of the relationship they have. Melissa can't just take the comment as being no, like, oh, nice. thank you, that's and really that's nice. She, she tried, but tries, she's like, but I... It's, in your head, you're kind of like, yeah. I'll just wait for like 10 minutes for her to say something bad about it. Yeah, something else will it. happen. Sure of it. Yeah. But like, Danielle takes the moment to make it about her and her situation with her brother. And 
Which I'm, you were saying a, a few episodes ago, when is this going to come back? And here oh, it is. here it is. And it's, full, it's like full fold, coming, coming, coming. It's ridiculous. And here's my thing. If you really want to, because she makes a couple of comments like throughout the show about like Teresa and Melissa and how they should get themselves together. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. If you really wanted to rectify things with your brother, you would do it. Because here's the thing. Let's say she is the reason that he's mad. Yeah. You call and you apologize. You say, I'm foolish. I should have never done it. Whatever you have to do to apologize. If this is upsetting. Now, if your brother did something in your mind and you feel he needs to apologize, then guess what? You do the same thing. You're just like, listen, I don't need an apology from you. I just want to be back in your life. Blah, blah, blah. You have to let it go then. Yeah. And March touches on that later too. You have to let it go. And that she is not either. Either she thinks she's right and her brother's wrong. She's never going to talk to him. But here's my thing. So let's stop talking about it. I don't, I also don't think, in my opinion, I don't think she will rectify the situation with her brother unless she can get this brother on camera. Mm-hmm. I was thinking otherwise, the same her storyline will be entirely pointless that she made an uh, she yep. made up off screen. That's the whole point. Is like this feels like it's building up to have the brother come. Maybe he does come at the end of the season. Do I think so? No? I don't think so because if he if he did make fun of her on social media, there's no way he's coming on the TV. And that's why Jackie does not bring up the, her sister and the, that situation. It's not that she's hiding it. She just knows it's going nowhere. I don't I'm not going to talk to her. She's not ever going to come on here to like talk about it with me. So then, yeah. w- then why do you drone well, on about it? About like, it? Like, she could like, say the same thing. Like, I'm upset that I don't talk yeah, to my Teresa sister. Yeah, Teresa right now, if Melissa was not on the show, you'd be like, yeah, I'm kind of sad because my brother and, and his wife aren't coming to my wedding. And it would probably, it would have to end there because there's no point because we're not going to see yeah, them. So it's just silly. That's the thing. It's like, it's kind of like a weird one-sided thing because you have, you've never met her brother. You probably will never see him. So yeah, it's like, it's just like, you got to kind of drop it because it's not going to go anywhere unless you get him on the show or his sister I mean, or, or the sister in law. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think I, I don't think they will. I don't think no. he'll come on. But that's the only thing. And then of course the best part is when Dolores gives Claire, Paul's mom, the calendar. She goes and gets the calendar that she made of all the husbands. Yeah. And I couldn't figure it out at first if the mom liked Frank's picture. Yeah. I think she did. Because she's like, oh, is this your ex? And, like, she kind of rolled her eyes, but, like, in a, like, mischievous way, like, that she liked it. So I wasn't sure if she liked it or not, but I thought that was funny. I would have liked her to comment on her sons, though. Yeah. Like, I would have liked her to say something about that. And then Jen A, she's just like, let's go, gotta go. All right, we gotta go to a hen party, like, you know. Yeah, what a weird party. Listen, I do think it was weird, too, but I thought it was, it was cute. It was something different, at least. Yeah, but like, I, I don't think... think she should call it the bachelorette party. No. Like, I think that should have been last night. I mean, I guess the whole trip is supposed to be, like, a one-long Yeah, I think it is. But, I mean, that's what they... They do call it a hen party over in in Ireland. I don't know if they actually chase the hens and stuff. They do all that. But they do call it a hen party because they used to say it was, like, a bunch of old hens sitting around clucking and chick... You know, it was, like, a weird thing like that. But it's funny because everything that she does set up or everything that everybody has set up, Teresa is like, and it, like you said, it's supposed to be kind of like her whole, like, like a bachelor theme for her. She's like, yeah, I'm not a pub person. I'm not a farm person. I'm not really a, this person. So it's like, I mean, she does make the best of it. I will say that she does seem to like rally. Yeah, she could be more Debbie Downer-ish. But. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think she could, you know. Apparently though, they go to this farm and the whole point of it is you have to catch a hen, like a yeah. chicken. And the whole, you catch the chicken and then you're supposed to stroke the chicken and it's supposed to bring you luck. So it's a cute Some idea. Some of those chickens were just sitting there though. Yeah. But he was also, the guy was, PETA was kind of yeah, I know. blocking, blocking this. But you think by now those chickens. chickens probably get the point of this game. Like, it just get it. In here like get it and me. I'll get a pet. Yeah. Just get away from me. But Teresa did pretty good. Melissa didn't do it. I didn't even see Melissa try. I just saw no, her go she in didn't. there. She just went in there. Marge did also pretty well. Marge was the one that was standing there. But March hers was, was just standing. standing there. And then uh, the best thing was she was chasing Danielle with it. So that was, yeah, that was... And Danielle was just screaming at Will. I think Rachel might have got bit or something, it looked like. she. Well, I think it went to peck at her. Yeah. I don't think something it actually like bit that, her. And she was like, bit. that's fine. Fessler can do it. And she did do it. She was fine. She did it. I don't know about Jen Aiden. I forget. Mm, she might have been in that like, quick little flashy flash montage. Yeah, I don't yeah, really I don't remember. remember. I'm sure she... No, I think she did do it. I, think I she just did. don't know who she did it with. So then they take Teresa to this room, which I thought was kind of a neat idea. And like yeah. pretty smart because you were saying, like, do you think they're going to paint over it? Sure as hell they are. There imagine, you go. imagine going the, back in a few years to be like, oh, I want to show my, my kids my the painting. Story. And they'll be like, oh, be like who seven, the hell seven is layers, Emily? Seven layers deep. 
There you go. Seven layers. Yeah, put... she has like the what's that paint stuff that they put on the wall to like scrape off yeah. paint. She's just like, chipping away. Yeah, like, hold on, I'll get there one second. Something. Whatever it is, turpentine, t- peel it off. But they take her into this other room and they tell them that your friends are going to paint the story of your life and whether you know her for a long time or a short time or whatever it is, they're, they're gonna you know paint something on the wall. And Teresa immediately like starts tearing up. Yeah, and I could see that because she was upset. Like I don't know who would have thought to draw jail. Maybe Jen Aiden. I don't know. I can't. Jen, s- Jennifer Aiden? No. I think she would have thought it would have been funny. Like, I think she would have done something. Like, she drew the table she flipping. She drew the table flip, yeah. So you don't, you know, weird. I don't think anybody else would have drew that. To I be think, but with I you. think maybe in Teresa's mind, since she's not great with Melissa and like Jackie, Jackie and maybe but I don't feel like, done it or something. Yeah, I don't feel like any of them have that kind of like. No, mean that's what I'm saying. I don't. Maybe Jackie could have done it. She could have. Maybe, but. But I don't think I, she would have. I would've. still feel like, I feel like she might have the concept of like, that's oh, a little too sensitive. Yeah, I don't think she would have done it. Because it would have made her look bad. Yeah. But she saying. just, like, said, did it she just like, said, please, yeah. nobody draw any, any like, jail or bars or anything. And they're like, no, no, it's only supposed to be happy stuff. Which I think they got the script. It's supposed to be yeah. happy memories of your life. And so, then they take her out. Yeah. And he gives her a puppy. She well, goes sits down and she's still... Well, it is a farm. No, I know, he, but, but, but still. The, but the best thing is, Peter comes over, that's the guide. He comes over and he says to her, I know puppies cheer people up. Do you like puppies? And she looks at it and says, is that a puppy? <laughs> Dude, he said puppy 3,000 times, of course. But he's going to tell you that puppies cheer people up and bring you, what, a cow? <laughs> I mean... It was black and white, though. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I, would, I, I almost thought maybe he was bringing her, like, a piglet or something. Like, as if to say, like, I don't have a dog, but here's a piglet. Like, or something. Oh, but he oh, didn't. Maybe. He said, it's a puppy. So she said a couple of things on this trip that was just... How do you say it in English? It's just some of the stuff yeah. is like... I don't know, or it's just, yeah. How do you how do you put that money in English or something? It's just like, oh, what on. what is that in English? English, so like money. money, and it's just like, come on, Teresa, please. I thought it was cute that the guy did that, but they go in there. She comes back in when they're all done, and Melissa drew her family coming over from Salinas, Salinas, wherever they came Salas, from. Salas, Salas, Salinas. Don't ask God. I don't know, for in Italy. And then she starts crying, and then she realizes that the family's broken, and Teresa comes over and gives her a hug. And again, it's another one of those moments where you're like... Yeah. Like, if you had... It's going to take off, no? If you only watched the show, and you didn't want... Well... And you didn't you, know the like outcome. If you, yeah, yeah. If you'd never watched the thing, you'd be like, oh my These God, there's gonna make hope. Up for this it's wedding. the redemption arc. Yeah, you're going to think Yikes. they're going to make up for this oh wedding. God, imagine watching Real Housewives and having no outside context of the show. Yeah. That'd be kind of crazy to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they, I would have definitely if I didn't know that they already didn't attend this wedding. I'd be like, oh my god, maybe there's like, something. Oh, she's like, gonna, they're gonna on do the it. Because then on top of it, Teresa goes into a, a spiel and a speech and a half saying how, oh yeah, I, you know, to me, if you, Joey, Gino, and Antonia and Joey, little Joey, were in my wedding, that would complete it. Or like she didn't say in the wedding. She made a no. Comment. She did say in the wedding. If they were in the wedding, part, it would I thought she said if they were took part in the wedding or something like that, or part of the wedding. Like yeah. she wasn't because then like, Jen Aiden said you yeah. want them in the wedding, and she are you said, asking well, them to be in the wedding, and she she's like, well, no, no. I guess like, she just yeah, means it's like what are it's you like doing? She, it's like the way she phrased it was like they already gave her like a decline on the wedding, I guess. And, in her head, like when you think about it, like do you know what I'm trying to say? I guess, but she could ask them like properly because she didn't ask them. She only asked them to, uh, Melissa that one day, like in a weird kind of forced. Yeah, ask. like it was kind of weird, but it, it. I just I don't know if Jennifer Aiden was stirring trouble or just like as shocked as the rest of us. No, was, I think she was but... shocked because I still think she was trying to like make a big thing about her being the wedding in that past episode. Yeah. So now if she had Melissa in the wedding, it'd be like, Damn. She did say, though, that was one of the things that they asked her on Watch What um, Happens, is that somebody called in and said, did you, when you were telling them about being in the wedding, did you say that to hurt Melissa? And she said, no, to be honest with you. She goes, but I can see how that looked that way. She yeah. goes, I was just so excited about being in the wedding that like we, I just wanted to share it. And like we were trying to be tactful about it because you could see Dolores was trying to and then Big Mouth just comes out with it. And she says, I, but I could see watching that scene. Yeah, the how way you would, Yeah, she goes, how you like would that. think that I was trying to hurt well, her. Well, we did and I said that. So. Yeah, I definitely thought it too, but. I mean, maybe a little bit subconsciously she thought that, but. 
And, like, she talks about, like, having Gino walk down with somebody or something. And I'm just, like, you, you do have, like, thoughts of, like, putting your family in. So just when do it. When she meditated on the wedding. Just do it and be, like, it would really, really be important to me to have you guys there. And I would just rather stop all the fighting. So then just do it. They're not going to do it for you. But she wants, like, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, she's saying. And then she said, Melissa's like, well, we're not your pawns. Like, you yeah. can't, we're not your trinkets that can just come out and be, like, let's put us on display. Oh, Melissa. Oh. On display. On display. How perfect um, is that? Right. And then, so then they move on and Jackie, she draws the Montville home with the girls when they were little and Delars draws Patterson Falls because that's where they grew up. Uh, Marge and Danielle, which was an odd one to work together because apparently, you know, like they were having... Wait, I thought it was Rachel. Oh, no. No, Rachel no, draws right. the Bay, Bay Boulevard. Yeah. They draw all like a wall of success and I was wondering if Skinny Pizza was on that wall because I didn't see it. I saw Skinny Italian. Yeah, no Did Skinny you notice pizza. Teresa's shirt? It said tree fit. Oh. Is she also had a that, fitness line? I don't know. I knew there was a heart on it, but I didn't know. Yeah, it said tree fit. I don't know if that's somebody else's, but we already talked about prior that and Melissa. One. So that is kind Wouldn't of weird. Surprising. And then Rachel drew just a basic sign that said Bay Boulevard because that's where she met Louie. But at least it was more than Teresa, I mean, Melissa's four stick figures that she drew. <laughs> at a boat. Was there a boat? I think there was a boat well, in the Well, but here's my thing. Or Marge a house and Danielle, they just made a bunch of boxes, boxes and, and wrote, wrote stuff in. Yeah. They walked out of that room. The paint wasn't even dry yet. And Peter had the damn white paint painting over that. Yeah, he said, what the sure. hell is this? People draw like, murals this over here. And Jen Fessler, she drew Louis asking Teresa to marry him. So that was a nice one. And then, of course, the piece de resonance was Jen Aiden. She drew Teresa flipping the table. And I have to say, she said it was a good likeness. And I have to agree. Did you notice she had it on her whole own wall? Yeah. <laughs> She was on her wall. She turned the corner and made it her own wall. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed with that one. But she also, Teresa apologizes and says that she wasn't trying to say anything bad about Antonia. That's not where she was going. Because that's what, like, spurred her to, like, say she wanted them all in the wedding. The young gentleman, Peter, with the puppy, comes back and guides them to a lovely little lunch. Which I have to say, I'm not uh, into eating and feels. But that table was really pretty, at least. It was very pretty set up. Yeah. Like it had like a lot yellow of food, it and like. yeah. Well, they wheeled out like a freaking cart with food, and then all of a sudden it just looked Where like were it was they everywhere this on, the ta- on this farm. I, I'm sure they probably have some kind of kitchen or something, but. But the table looked like it was like out by itself. Like they were. I know. Wheeled, they really like, By the time they wheeled it out there, it could have been cold. Well, it did look like a lot of it was cold food. Yeah, but it did look like a lot they, of it. It was salad. Yeah, salmon, so I mean, that's, so. you know, you know, you got the March. Yeah, you know, the potato salad is great. You know, March, she never misses an opportunity to eat. God bless her. In words of Teresa. This was the meanest part, I think, of the whole show. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was unnecessary, and I don't care because Jennifer Aiden addressed it on Watch What Happens Live and said that somebody asked, like, do you think that was really hurtful for her to say in front of Melissa? And she made a comment and said, if you know Teresa, no. Well, no. I'm sorry. I don't care. I mean, you know Teresa, no. They start talking about planning their next trip. Zolaris brings that up. And Teresa starts talking about the wedding, saying that she's got the girls' dresses, her fitting, this, that, and the other thing. And then it comes out also that they asked Bill Bill to be in the wedding. Now, when you do the calculations on this based on what Joe Gorga said later in the show, it's two weeks to the wedding. Yeah. So they he got asked two weeks before the but wedding. That's what's so crazy to me. So here's my thing. I think usually I, you have this stuff set. That's what like, I'm saying. You know who Even your bridal you party think is. About it, three. Let's just say it was one week ago they were doing the cup reading. That's three weeks out from your wedding. That's I literally wrote that. I wrote that's crazy about Teresa that she just keeps adding to people to her yeah. party when it's two weeks away. Like how do you just keep like this stuff Nobody is supposed to be that. set like. Where are you supposed to be getting these suit like? Suits I could and understand things? when Dina dropped out. Okay, you're adding somebody. Yeah, but like I don't know. Like it. Well, you're no, just, you're just they're renting the men are renting. No, but I you know, can just I'm probably saying. add him on. I'm but saying, it's but just, like getting the dresses at least for the other ones fit. They're just lucky that these people are not the type of people that are like offended that they're like an afterthought. I don't know, but she goes on to say that the reason is that a helicopter or a lawnmower. I think it's a helicopter, but I don't know. Well, then it sounds like it's landed right outside the window. <laughs> but she goes on to say that the reason that she invited, she asked Bill to be in the wedding, because everybody has their little comments, like March is like, oh, you mean Bill, the one you knew for 12 months? Oh, the one that, you know, it's an afterthought. But she, she said was that they were very supportive of her. Yeah. But then why wouldn't you ask them to begin with? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand. Like, Unless somebody dropped out on his side, too, and we don't know. I didn't really say it, but she just said they were supportive of their relationship. And since she doesn't have any family, 
it felt nice to be supported. Now, I'm sorry. If you looked at Melissa's face, thank God she had those big ass glasses because there's no way that that's not going to hurt your yeah. feelings. I mean, I don't care what you say because she's sitting right across from you and you're going to say, I don't have any family. Like, seriously, how do you do that? I don't know. I, I, uh, and and I'm, I'm sitting here going, if this is what she's saying and Melissa's at the table. Man, she says behind her back. I mean, we already have an inkling of oh, what yeah. she says when she's on camera with, with Louie and Gia. Do we need to go see what's going on out there? Because the cats seem concerned. But uh, that's why I'm saying we have an inkling of what she says. But now imagine there was no cameras. What the hell she must say about Melissa or mm-hmm. about Joe and Melissa? Like, oh my god, I'm gonna investigate. Okay. Update. It's the damn owner of the building's little house getting their lawn mowed right now. Like, really? Okay. Well, they're keeping it neat. Well, I hope for a cut out of our rent this month as you interrupt our job. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, but okay, sure. And I gave Cooper a toy ball up while we were gone, so he's, he's playing taking with that his baby. around. All right, sorry, let's continue. What was I saying? I was, I was talking about Melissa. I think I finished my thought on Melissa. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were talking about how that, yeah, yeah. We're good. Next. They, Next thought. They do ask her, like, are you okay, Melissa? I think it was Marge and Marge. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm fine, but you could tell that that's upsetting. And Well, because also she's no, there's... I think the other good thing is, like, Melissa looks like she's just kind of sitting there in the sadness. Yeah. Instead of trying to engage and be like, what do you mean you have no family? Like, yeah, you know why what I mean? That would have made Typically, back worse. in the day, she would have said that. Like, yeah. oh, this is the reason but why This is knows. the reason why we're where we're at. She said it in private. Like, she said, and this is the reason why I don't believe that she cares to have my son Gino in her wedding or myself yeah. or anybody else. Because then you go and say things like that. So, it makes it hard for her to believe what she's saying so i i i believe i'm down with that and once again cue the tears here she comes yeah danielle with the cries anybody named danielle we should be questioning oh my god yeah really when new jersey Even in our personal life we knew another danielle from new jersey she was a little yeah uh-uh, uh-uh. yeah you really should be questioning any daniels in new jersey because <laughs> they're just and mm. if you're a danielle in new jersey and you're normal god bless you you're a rare species. Yes. Good for you. Keep the name up. Okay, that's going off. Sissy's huffing over there. Did you just hear that little one huff and puff? Yeah. So once again, she starts crying over her brother. She's telling them, you know, you need to fix this because you guys are at least speaking and able to talk. Again, though, like if this is this trouble, and March said it to her, if this is this upsetting to you, then you need to fix it. Yeah. Because you can't keep saying the same thing that in crying over it every time somebody has a sibling interaction because, like, where are we going with this? Like, this is foolish. I, I, she must cry her eyes out every single day watching her son and daughter interact. Right? Like, how does she even like, get on? I do, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how you're even, like, functioning if you can't, like, if... Because I don't think these people are having this much, like, I don't know, tender moments there or something. I don't know. But Peter comes over, tells them they're going to the spa... There's a mere minute where I'm like, oh, see, look, she did plan something nice. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. No, it's an Irish spa. First off, if we're already wondering where the kitchen is on this farm, where do you think they're the holding spa. the spa? It's nowhere to be found. He tells them that they are going to a field where there is like a divot and it's huge and there's mud. They call it the bog. And you're supposed to jump. It, this is where all the mud for the spas come from is in this little pit. Is this factual? That's what he said, yeah. Oh, okay. He said this is where they get the mud for the actual spas is right here in the bog. So he tells the girls they have to jump in. It's probably knee high. And then they should just like rub the stuff on their arms and wherever, I guess. Yeah. But I feel like we've seen another Housewife franchise go into like an actual mud spa that... They did. Uh, OC? OC did it. Yeah. Remember, it was like a, it was at a nice spa though and you just yeah. walked into this mud. But it looked a little... I don't want to say cleaner. I don't know if it was. But it didn't look like you were... It looked different. It just definitely looked different. Well, it was this, more of a clay type yeah, mud, I think. Yeah, it was I like think. a clay mud. This, this was, was like, just like looked, dirt. Yeah, they said it. Um, who said it? I don't know if it was Rachel or... Danielle? One of them said it felt like... Danielle said it felt like diarrhea. Oh, no. One of them said it felt like a brownie. Like, that March? Yeah, that March was March. said brownie. March, yeah, always one, food, March. Danielle said it felt like jumping into, into diarrhea. diarrhea. Yeah. Which, you know, diarrhea, brownie powder, I think they can go hand in hand, depending sure. on the consistency yeah. of each one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Dolores, of course, was the first to jump in. Then Jennifer Aiden. Which uh, I... Jennifer Aiden was very willing. Yeah, I mean, she, I, but, I but she set it up, so she better be. Well, I mean, yeah. no, and Dolores, I, mean, I felt, needed Dolores to Dolores just lead wanted the to get away from the group. Well, it could be that. It could very well be that. Melissa pushed Rachel and Danielle I both in. I think she in. might have pushed Jennifer Aiden in as well. 
I don't know. I, I think Jennifer seeing Melissa th- push. I think she jumped in. Oh. But she pushed those two in. And then Marge slides down because I was concerned. You got this freaking hand. You should not be jumping into mud that you could land and yeah. hurt the wrist. Because she was already talking later on about the wrist. So she slides in, thank God. Jennifer Fesla jumps in and likes it. Which, did anybody expect her to say something different than, ooh, I think She's I like it. She's such a cool thing and she rubbed the mud on her face. face. I'm not going to lie. Watching her go in this little mud bog, I thought to myself, the Fez on a girl's trip? I yeah. think so. An ultimate girl's trip. But I think she could do it. the Friends edition. Her and March. Her and no, March. no, no, no. Friends edition. Friends of. All the best friends oh, of. Oh, yeah. That would be a good one. On an ultimate girl's trip. Like, Send that one into Andy. Andy, if you hear this, 100% do it. But you got to have the Fez on there. Otherwise, friends it's Friends of, yeah. I think that would be such... Because even the one. conversations that they have would be interesting. Yeah, like what is it from your? Yeah, that would even be interesting. What's her name? Too. The one that traded on Luann, Barbara, and her spray tan all over the white bed. Like her would be an interesting one to hear what goes on in New York. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. Melissa pushed Jackie and Rachel uh, in because then Danielle jumps in on her own and starts complaining about the diarrhea. The diarrhea. Teresa and Melissa are up there by themselves, princesses yeah. that they are. No shocker, shocker there. And then that, like again. A gl- even after that table, like, we have a glimpse. They're going to jump in together. Yeah, like, Teresa goes over and, like, holds her hand. Because she but does things, like, when you think about it. So she had the comment, nice comment in the morning. She wanted her to go into the hen thing with her. Then she, you know, made the comment about the the, the family and the wedding. And then here, she's like, we'll go in together, you know. At- yeah, so- and then they were, like, laughing. Like, Here's my thing that I was thinking, though. Maybe Teresa... Was trying to make herself look good because she I, knew what Tr- Melissa had said the night prior about the cheating thing, or something like trying to come off as I don't know. Like, maybe I don't know. I, I don't know. know. She could have been trying. That's to. the only thing I could think, but I don't really know how comparing those two would be the same. But I don't know. And then like the two of them are like acting goofy and stuff. Like she's trying yeah. to help Melissa like get up out of it because she Melissa has an eel apparently by her foot. Did you hear that? Yeah, she said an eel in the mud. Eels are not in mud. Maybe only like worm. a room. Maybe she was thinking a worm. I don't know what she was thinking, but not an eel. Teresa's trying to hoist her up by shoving her hand up her crotch to get her up there. I mean, and I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It was just... But they were, like, being, like, cute and comical. Yeah. Like, you thought, oh, something's going to come of this. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Nothing comes of it. Anybody surprised about the latest news about Frank Catania? Anybody saw that one coming? Because, no. No. His career trajectory has been lawyer, bodybuilder, builder, and now cannabis supplier <laughs> like, come on frank what the hell like what the actual hell i mean apparently marge calls joe to talk to him joe bonino and he said he's with lexi her friend and he says she says that they're going well she made a comment that frank and joe are going to host a guy's night because frank is starting a new business pot business and she goes to call him and then you see danielle goes to call her husband and again crying cry me a river telling her husband that everybody's been mean to her and they're not nice to her i'm like thinking to myself whatever just buck up clearly rachel called her husband because you see he makes he pipes in and chimes in about something for her but marge tells joe and lexi who has is now living with them because i guess she's getting divorced so she's living in their guest house is that Hello, the one that has the kid? Yeah. Uh, That's why the kid was there last episode. Okay. But Marge, guest house, pool people. When she's done, when she's ready to move out, we can move into your pool house, Marge. Yeah, Marge, come on. So she tells him that Bill Aiden is now in the wedding. And they're like, what? They were so taken back. I love Joe's like answers to things are just like he's so invested he's yeah. so a house husband like he's so invested like he, he but i don't feel like you would expect him no, to be like no. yeah he's like so taken back by certain things so she looked really cute Mar- marge i have to say i felt she looked oh, very appropriate yeah, she had like a tutu but it was like kind of like short in the front low in the back and then the, the shirt was ruffled she looked i i this was one of her better looks because <sighs> sometimes marge, she can look a little too kooky. yeah she can go a little too sideways kooky the worst look i felt was melissa i did not like what melissa was wearing it was some kind of satin dress but it was like green on the top with maybe a hole in the center and then like blue but it was bright gem tools like tones i don't remember anything i don't i don't i didn't like it i don't know but that was just me and i'm i'm a fan of melissa but i did not like that yeah baby i like the one the outfit that they keep using for melissa in the sit down now yes that one that's a nice she looks good in that so uh, dolores set up a nice dinner and whiskey tasting which actually i'm not a whiskey drinker but i would have tried that too because it's different than you're just wine yeah and they were doing like with the chocolate and stuff and like see i like when they do stuff like that where like there's a reason for like certain things and the the flavor is supposed to 
do things, mask things, and enhance things, and all like that. But apparently, you were supposed to, you know, taste it, do your like chocolate. Like the wine, you sip and it, And then you dump it. dump it. I mean, unless there was one you really liked and you wanted to save it, that's fine. But there was, they had a wine glass, supposed to dump it. We all know who did not do dumping. Jennifer Aiden <laughs> didn't do it. It was basically Melissa Shorehouse, but now she was sitting in a chair. She was like, at least kind of comical at this yeah, one because no. she was like toppling over kind of and like they were like, are they you okay? They were trying okay? to have conversations and she's yeah. like dropping Being everything. forks and like they're like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Go ahead. Continue. Carry on. I mean, she pulled it back together, but I think she doesn't remember a good portion of what went on there. Oh, again, before Ter- Teresa was the last to come down. So they, they're they now like going to, of course, hit Melissa up and be like, oh, how do you feel? Are you okay with everything? And all the comments that she made. And, and she's like, you know, I'm fine, but this is not like, I guess she's not shocked about, you know, this whole thing with Teresa. Cooper wanted to come sit with us. So for yeah, now he's going to beat his tail like a little, a little hussy. So now they kind of flash over to the guys and yeah. they're at Joe's house and Lexi's trying to <laughs> set up candles and flowers for them. And Joe's like, please stop. I mean, she was being very sweet and very helpful, but Joe Gorga is the first to arrive and he kind of tells him like what's going on that like Frank has like this business now. Yeah. He's got gummies and he's coming for her Tamara's. Right. But this is like the actual stuff. Well, I think Tamara has some well, stuff. He, has it, but yeah. He's, his is pot. His is he was straight, looking yeah. to start a dispensary. Like he wants to have oh a retail store. If he st- opens one, we'll have to go. Yeah, he wanted a retail store. I, but I tried to like Google it and I don't, Nothing. there's no ty- no company name. I couldn't really find anything. So there's that. Maybe, well, maybe he's just in the starting process of it, I guess. Then Bill arrives and they comment on how the fact that, you know, he's in the wedding and he's like, well, we were asked. He was trying to downplay it. I felt bad for him because I think he was also probably excited to be asked and stuff. But yeah. like, you know, he knows it's got to be weird like to say that in front of Joe and Joe, of course, is like, oh, you're a second. You're you're an afterthought. You're an afterthought. Of course, he's an afterthought. But it's you were no thought, Joe. How about yeah, that? They, Sorry. Because they no, truly, they did. You not, were not I even don't even thought. think they asked him to be in it. So, you know, that's pretty. And the fact that like she he didn't walk her down the aisle she didn't ask him to walk her down the aisle and stuff i thought it was really crappy too we but... already went over this though we said it would look weird with that tall hair well yeah well yeah but it's still i thought it was kind of you know crappy you could immediately see joe gorka is offended there's no you know and he comments on how it's like two weeks to the wedding and you know you definitely have to know you're an afterthought Louis, nowhere to be found. He has a... Uh, yeah, I, I, he's got... I didn't co- even notice he wasn't there. He's got COVID after sickness or something. I don't know. I guess he's still reeling from it. I, I don't know. Or maybe he's better, but not testing better. Who knows what the well, story is. Well, he may is. have tested clear, but he may still feel sick. Sick, yeah. Who knows? I don't know. And of course, Paulie wasn't even mentioned. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, like, hell? you could have at least said we asked him or something. or something. Oh, yeah. His family was there. That's true. Joe brings up the... They all get together and they're sitting around the table now. Like, all the guys have shown up. Evan and... And Fuda and uh, Jennifer Fessler's husband wasn't there. No, no, but he's, he's not, friend he's of. A, he's friend. He's of. friend of. That's true. He's not in the fray. They start talking about Teresa and how um, you know she mentioned Antonia and you know what is that about? And he also was had no intention of smoking anything because he said he doesn't do it because he sees like yeah animals and things of that nature. And then you know I was a little taken back with this because I feel like it was a little bit of peer pressure or bullying. Like, that Frank, like, blew the smoke in his mouth. Like, I thought that yeah. was kind of, like, cra- Like, they all laughed. Like, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of crappy. I was not really sure how I felt about that. Because I'm like, come on, grown men. Like, no is well, no. they don't act like grown men. Well, that's true, too. But, But I will know. say, sadly, this little... Oh, Cooper's gone. And he's gone. Oh, and he wants you. What I was going to say was that, sadly, this little clip of the boys was, mm-hmm. like, more entertaining than the whole Ireland trip. Yeah, they were funny. They were funny. I will say that. And they said that I'm sure the girls are not having as much fun as we are right now or being a serious. Because you do have Fuda asking Nate. Is that his name? Nate, I think. Danielle's yeah, I think husband. It's like, Nate. why why did your wife call my wife a rat or something? And like, he tried to go into it or something like that. But they, they do just drop it. Like, that's yeah. the difference. They just totally drop it. And like, they let it go. And it becomes like, we're not getting involved. It's I think when they go back to the women, they start, because they say that, oh, but the women are not having as much fun. They go back to the women and Teresa is like thanking them for, you know, taking the time to honor her and do this for her and take her away and, and you know, whatever. And Marge says like, oh, we've made great memories. And then there she is. One more time. Let's go around. Third time's a charm. It really was a great trip for me. 
I'm like, is she kidding me? Really? You kind of did it to yourself. Yeah, she really did. No, she really did because she kept bringing it up. She didn't address it. She like you dug for the more information. Yep. So you, you totally you asked for it. You got what you asked for yourself. Everybody else made it work. Even Teresa and Melissa made it work and had a good time together. Like besides the little thing they had in the van. Yeah, I mean, if they can make it work, come on. After all these years, like all together, you, uh, you could have made it work for yourself because that was ridiculous. Because half the time Rachel didn't even know she was fighting with her. That's the really sad part. Until she started hearing her say stuff about her, then she's like, okay, well, guess what? Now I know I'm fighting with you, but okay. But Danielle's like the one screaming and slamming her hands on the table, telling Rachel to calm down and all like that. She just wants answers, like as to why you're acting this way and why you're saying these things. But I, I don't know. I just I agree with them. I don't necessarily think it's Danielle's fault and I'm not a we all know I'm not a Danielle's liker I definitely think if somebody's going to be mad it should be at whoa high note it's going to be at Teresa and Jen Aiden because they are the ones that started this although it is a, a real weird creepy why are you so invested in this Danielle thing because that's what Marge was trying to say like why do you care about a friend you've never met you don't know anything about but yet yeah. you're so invested in my well, friend well it's like weird it's like about that but it's also about the Arsenal comment and yeah. it's like I guess she's upset that like yes Rachel was part of the conversation but what she's forgetting is Rachel was just trying to say hey she we were like yeah. she was trying to ask about the Arsenal rather than yeah being, I think she like, was trying to ask Rachel about it thinks more you have an Arsenal, arsenal. yeah she was she was asking about it, but Marge starts asking. So, well, what does my what does this friend have? What is she saying? And man, Jen Aiden sobered up really quick, didn't she? Now, because she's now like, there's a dog fight in the hall. Well, oh. I think that dog's going to the potty now. She yeah, she sobered up one two three because she's like I'm not even gonna look at her. I'm not even gonna look straight ahead so that she doesn't like. There's yeah, cat it's hair a lot of cat everywhere. Hair flying. It's really bad. She's, she's like, I'm not, I don't even want her to answer her and say, but I mean, eventually she does say it. I don't know if it's like this week, next week, what week, but it does come out. So they've taken it back to the halls. If you're, you know what I recommend? Stop this episode right now. Go start where you talk about it all and then watch this one. Okay. Chronological order here, folks. <laughs> that one was recorded first. Yeah, you'll know. But it, it ends, of course, with Danielle stomping off crying well i think the best thing marge said though to her before she left was danielle she repeated the line that we talked about last week yeah i will forgive but i won't forget forget. and marge said well then how will you ever move on she said you're gonna always have problems with your with your family was getting upset and i thought marge was no she's the most she's right because she's like you are never going to be able to move on if you don't let it go and if you're you're, if you're gonna hold on to it forever then you're gonna be there forever you're gonna be stuck there forever and i that's what I'm saying. She is going to absolutely be stuck like this because she refuses to let this go. Yeah, because she's not it's like, forgiving. <sighs> it's it's not like she's saying, I forgive you, but I won't forget. And like, you know, forget. You just keep it back there, you know, far in the no, back you of always the brain. Remember, you can always remember yeah, what somebody did to you so it doesn't happen it very again. up front. So oh my God, it's does she more ever, of because, like... Because she reiterates. I don't even know how it, to phrase that. It's constantly like she's listen to your apology and not oh let it go. God. I don't know. She's just really bad. There's a cat hair on my glasses. I can't find. It. There it is. Okay. I I don't know. Yeah, she's it's too much. So I just thought they were going to address this issue, but I guess not. The reason why I don't think she said it yet is because if you were a producer, right? Are you gonna want her to say it when they're only the girls on a trip, or would you rather her say it when it's a group party with Joe Gorgon there? Yeah, no. You would want that. Like, it would be more drama. So if you were the producer saying, hey, yes, we do plan on you, like, revealing this. You know, yeah. wait till we give you your 50 bucks <laughs> to reveal the information. You know, Danielle is, Danielle is the collector of money. Remember at the at the game? We said they, the producers were giving her money probably to say some oh, stuff. Oh, well, that's just our shenanigans. I'm just saying. Maybe they, they said, okay, well, we'll give you something. But wait till it's like a group party and Joe Gorgas there. Because that, that means just for drama's sake. Yes. Yeah, Even in her own head, she knows the housewife game. She said she's watched. So yeah, I do. Oh, you I, know, you would. I, I totally in my believe. head, I'd be like, well, let me do it when the husband's gonna be there. I totally That's believe be that she's explosive. doing this because she has watched the Real Housewives, and I think she is trying to. Well, she's not doing very good. No, <laughs> Sorry, she's not. She should probably go back. Maybe, and... But maybe, um, you know, maybe she would watch this season. Maybe she's watching and thinking, okay, I can't be like this next. I season. got this. No, but you don't. <laughs> nice. You don't got it. 
She, no, in her mind, she probably thinks she does have it. She thinks she's like the smartest yeah. person and she's not. Also, they filmed the reunion for New Jersey too. We didn't get to mention that in the beginning. Yeah, they're saying Jennifer Aiden said it was a SHIT show. And I saw something that Andy said he lost it on Teresa. She, yeah, she said it was Which not kind of makes me expected. feel like, like more, she said like she was that exhausted. were very valid for the not agreeing with Teresa this season. Because I know there yeah, are a lot well, of fans that still back her, but. No. Jennifer Aiden said she was exhausted and it was, she was not even involved in half of the stuff. She goes, she yeah. was just exhausted from like being there, being involved. Yeah. I mean, I could see that. So we got some expl- explosive reunions on the way. Mm-hmm. We got Vanderpump. I think we're about to start the seventh season right now. We have New Jersey's obviously so soon. Also in big news, the OC trailer has finally dropped. Mm-hmm. And since this Monday, Ultimate Girls Trip has ended. One last thing before we go on, I guess, just back to only Saturdays. We're going to do our thoughts and opinions on the OC trailer. That will be back the show june 7th we'll also tell what day we're going to upload those episodes for the oc and that so make sure you check that out that'll yeah, be up on go Monday. all the way back and watch our recap of that the OC. too so if you if you want to catch up on the oc and you were like i can't remember what happened yeah this way you can listen we, to it while you're driving catch up real all quick. of it all the seasons leading up to this because this was our prep because we thought the oc was going to come back earlier which it probably yeah. was until sandoval did his little shenanigans thanks a lot yeah, we've done a lot quicker than we thought we were going to be yeah but that's that yeah so get excited for that and shannon madure was on with jennifer aiden they did like a uh, whoever the other guest was i forget her name oh my gosh she is a big housewife fan and andy did like three people that you had to guess their voices mm-hmm. i should have you should have been able to guess just based on the fact that it was someone from oc someone from atlanta and someone that has something coming out so oc was uh shannon madure and shannon said that she they said what do you think of this season and she said it is good and i lived it and i can't wait yeah. to rewatch it also make sure you come back for our oc thing because tamara and shannon did an exclusive little live on instagram with bravo and they accidentally went live originally on their own account and they had some notes on the table that i was able to decipher and read so i will go through those notes that i saw on the table exclusively all right so we got a little maybe possible little secret if you didn't see that live so i got didn't some, we got some secret info coming out because most of us was holding down a real job in the real world actually so that we're be... on the way home okay well there most but people would have been at work probably make though. sure come back on monday so you can hear that but till then that's all leave us C'est a good vie. rating make sure if you're on youtube give us a thumbs up don't give us a thumbs down instead leave a comment telling us how we can improve Make sure you subscribe and follow and turn on notifications so you don't miss any episodes because if you didn't have them on, you didn't listen to this episode, you may not know that OC episode's coming out this Monday. So you gotta do that. Yeah, I could have missed it. You could have missed it. See? So that's what you gotta do here, folks. That's all we gotta say. Pay attention. We'll be back next week. No girls trip, obviously. You didn't watch an episode this week, did you guys? Did Hmm, we miss something? No. No. Unless you're behind. But If you you are, well, go ahead. All our girls trip are up up now. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm, we gotta go quite frankly because I'm not sure what's going on in this building. It sounds like someone just we fell. We could that have been our cat. He's in the litter box. He's staring at no, the litter but box. But that so wasn't we, him though. That wasn't him. It was him. that because now I hear screaming. Yeah. All right, so we gotta go. We'll be back next yeah, week or Monday if you're gonna watch the OC thing. Yeah. Go hit the button so that we can distinguish what's going on next door. <laughs> we need to take arms. <laughs> not arms. <laughs> to protect ourselves. Not arms. <laughs> <laughs>